olightx 7 Marauder. It was sent me from olightstore.com, courtesy of Toby. Thank you, Toby. I got the X7 with the, what they call uh, the kit version, which includes the sheet, the light, and also you have four protected IMR Olight batteries, 18650. As you can see, the light is uh, short but quite thick. Again, I have medium European hands. You have the free XHP70 emitters. In a, let's say it, it's not a very, a very sm uh, so small uh, reflector. It's, a, it's a orange peeling, and you have an electronic switch at the head, and a LED that indicates the low battery. This is the user interface. Now, the light is locked because even if the threads are uh, anodized, you cannot lock out the light by then twisting it. So, now it's in lockout. To unlock it, I just keep pressed until it flashes. And now it's, it's unlocked. This is the uh, almost the standard uh, or light interface. A single click, it turns the light on and off with memory mode. Now, when the light is on, you can keep pressed and the light will cycle between three modes that are low, medium and high. Of course, right as memory mode. And from off, if you keep pressed, you get this uh, moon, uh, I will not say moonlight because it's around five or 10 lumens, but it's a pretty low uh, output compared to the other ones. Now from whatever level you were into, double click, turbo, Ouch, this is painfully bright. And when you are in turbo, another double click. And this is the turbo S. Eh, even more painfully brighter. Okay. Now, when you're in turbo on turbo S mode, and you turn the light off, and you turn the light on, you'll be back in high mode, not turbo, nor turbo S. And of course, you have the mandatory triple click for strobe mode. One, two, three. Yikes. Hellishly bright. Eh. Of course, this is not a very, very, very compact light compared to some other lights, but let me show you for comparison. I know that many of many people have this light. This is the TM16 GT. Okay. As you can see, eh. I would say that the TM the X7 is a, a head shorter than the TM16 GT. They both run with 418650 batteries, so the bodies are similar thickness and the width, but the head is very smaller, of course, in the X7. The tail cap is flat, so you can let the light sit tail stand without any kind of problems. And here I have also the Manker MK34, so as you can see, the MK34 is much smaller than the X7. Even though the, the maximum uh, width in the, at the head is not so different, but it's much shorter and obviously lighter. Now, here I, ro I roll a couple of beam shots. As you can see, this light, despite having more than 9000 lumens, it doesn't have a lot of throw, of course. These are very big dies, they're led with big dies, big surface, and in a very small reflector. So the beam is very wide, and it's very homogeneous, and it's very fluid. There is still some kind of resemblance of a spot and some petals at the outside of the spill. But for close distances, I don't see any problem. Hell, this light is made for close distance illuminations. The light also have a great regulation, as you can see in this graph I made. These step downs are thermally regulated and not uh, temporized, so you have maximum out. If you are outside in, th in the outdoor during winter, you get uh, actually get brighter runtime and uh, brighter light, sorry, for more period of time. Of course, you need 
button top batteries to run this light not flat top you really need button top a small button top to run this light lowest mode I don't know how much you can see but now I progress to low mode okay as you can see the tint is definitely a bit warmer compared to the MK34 but the spill is less wide you can see at the base of the beam there are uh, you can see the marks of the reflector and the beam is not so wide and uh, luminous However, there is a very small resemblance of spot, but it's very, I believe it's negligible. And now, of course, let the fun begin. This is medium mode, 1000 lumen. High mode, I believe it's 3000 lumen. Very bright and very warm compared to the NK34. Now turbo. As you can see, if I keep just the light in my hand, laying down on my side, no problem. I can see everything in front of me, everything from my feet. I will turn the light on at the lowest mode. Don't know what you can see but nothing but just a few meters of throw now we'll increase the brightness from uh, moonlight to low mode mm -hmm. medium mode high mode turbo mode and this is turbo s to a turbo s mode 